Hello everyone and welcome to Digital Manufacturing Week. Uh, my name is Steve Morris and I'm the Country Manager at UK and Ireland for uh, Visual Components. We are delighted to be presenting at uh, this year's event and even though we're all going through difficult times with adjustments to the way that we live both at home and also in work, we hope this presentation and discussion will give you some insights into how we have been helping manufacturing customers tackle some of the impacts that COVID-19 is having on us all, but also how simulation software can support your industrial automation journey, or as we like to call it, your digital journey. Visual Components is headquartered in the Helsinki region, Finland, and was established back in 1999, providing simulation software now for over 20 years. We have expanded across the world during this time and actively trading in the UK and Ireland since 2016. Now based in Birmingham, with a growing customer base and partner base. We have a short presentation with a couple of videos and also a couple of user cases to help bring the presentation to life. At the end of the presentation, we will provide you with our full contact details and information on how to access other videos and simulation models from our website. In addition, if you would like to discuss setting up a bespoke software demo for your organization, then of course you can contact me directly. At Visual Components, <clears throat> our mission is to set the standard in production simulation. And our vision is to provide the best product on the market and shape the future of simulation technology for others to follow. Okay, so let's talk about the road to industrial automation or the digital journey. From our experience, companies fall into these four types of digital and automation maturity. The good news is that visual component simulation software is being used within all of these types of customer. So, whether you are starting out or already started with one or two projects, or perhaps experimenting with robots and cobots and autonomous vehicles, or you consider yourself fully automated, visual component software simulation is definitely for you. Now that we, we know that the road to industrial automation is long and winding, and can take many, many years. There are barriers and issues that manufacturers face when it comes to embracing industrial automation. From our experience, we see a number of things. We see, first of all, many people or stakeholders in an organization that need to be managed, with each wanting an input to strategy, layout and design, process and execution, resulting in many layout alternatives, many delays, and seemingly taken a long time to come to fruition. And I have no doubt that some of you are thinking, yep, this is definitely us. We have also experienced how hard it is uh, to convince decision makers about the business case and return on investment, taking into account calculating accurate improvements in productivity and yield, as well as qualifying and quantifying positive impacts based upon COVID-19 social distancing requirements. We know that PowerPoint presentations and results of pilots and proof of concepts are not easy to understand, quantify and present. And to be frank, Excel and PowerPoint are not really up to the task in hand as it can become quite complex. And normally, there are loads of versions and iterations to accommodate people's wishes and wants. So the need to be able to quickly validate any changes virtually is vital. The good news is that visual component software can overcome all of these barriers and help support your complete end-to-end -end journey. The other thing to mention from our experience is also the common mistakes that are made by organizations when going through the automation journey. And I have tried to capture a number of these on the slide. The first thing we often see 
is organizations guesstimating floor space, sometimes using sketches and drawings which are not accurate or designed for optimum use. We've already mentioned about weak business cases and return on investment work, but there's also issues around collision detection, robot out of reach and exceeding joint limits, poor pathway work, and poor process performance and process flow work and so on. These mistakes are common, but actually are quite remarkable given the huge sums of investments that are made in automation projects. And we often ask why organizations did not invest a little more in getting these things right using simulation software. And some simply shrug their shoulders and don't know why. And others often say hindsight is a wonderful thing. So let us help you get it right all the way through the complex and expensive journey of industrial automation. Now, before we move on, remember too that the software can provide you with an holistic view of overall manufacturing processes, including optimizing of robot cells, for example. So both big picture, i.e. upstream and downstream, as well as robot performance. This is quite important for future planning. So it's not just cell or local cell automation using simulation software, but whole factories across multiple production sites. This is an important point to think about and also remember. It is important to understand that the software can simulate your current production lines at local level or on an enterprise level. This will help support production optimization, plan for increasing automation, how to extend your production line, and help develop greenfield smart factories for the future, not just on a local basis, but across the whole enterprise. Therefore, whether you need to carefully and meticulously plan your factory layout to optimize production space, reduce bottlenecks, and increase throughput, efficiency, and productivity, or develop models for offline robot planning, virtual commissioning, and PLC validation, and perhaps even use virtual reality in the process, then visual components can help. So let's have a look at a couple of videos. All of these can be found on our YouTube channel, along with a number of others. Here, we have a typical machine tending application or collaborative robot application. And as you can see from the video, which I'm going to allow to sort of play through, we see that the raw material has arrived on pallets. We can then see how the robots are involved in the depalletization of the raw material. And as I allow the video to move forward, we can then begin to see how the robots on linear tracks have been simulated to allow the raw materials to be inserted into the machines or the turning centers. And then as we allow the video to continue, we can then see more robots on linear tracks, removing the goods that have been produced. And then as the goods are then repalletized, we can also see how the automated guided forklifts are involved in that palletizing process. Here, obviously, the end of line palletizing. So this is just one way the software can simulate and help towards your industrial automation project. Now, in the second video that I've chosen today, um, I've picked one that shows uh, a typical KUKA robot cell. But obviously, it, it doesn't just need to be KUKA. It can be any particular robot cell. Now, the key thing in this video and in this simulation is that it's showing a spindle mounted on the robot. And then we can see that the robot is performing a grinding application 
on a motor block. What we will then see is the robot changing the grinding tool in the spindle during the process. And the robot program is made with Visual Components Premium License, which then utilizes virtual topology or what we call the path statement. So th this is actually showing the virtual path that the robot is programmed to move to. And again, I'll just allow the video to work its way through. Now, in order to provide such rich functionality and simulation capabilities, we have over 2,500 components in our e-catalog, over 35 pre-simulated layouts, and more than 1,500 robots, over 70 brands, to enable you to build your simulated factory and help you on your digital journey. So let's turn to some user cases. And here we have two that I've picked. The first is a manufacturing customer that was struggling to develop an accurate and comprehensive business case for a proposed automation proof of concept. And we found that the customers uh, were struggling. Um, they had some sort of uh, business case outline, but they called on us to provide them with an evaluation license, which we supply for 14 days, plus three days of consultancy support and training. They were able to successfully develop a proof of concept during the period. They obtained board approval, and then they purchased three premium licenses to support a company-wide move to an industrial automation program that used robots and autonomous vehicles. Now, the second real life user case is slightly different and focuses more on outcomes and benefits of working with visual components throughout the automation journey. This manufacturing customer had a very specific challenge around manufacturing personalized and customized products. The production requirements were very specific and tight and a high degree of technical control was required in terms of materials, processes, and finished products. They needed capacity to be able to produce more than 10 different product platforms and over 100 SKUs at the same time, all mixed and with their own individual processing times, material requirements, and quality control procedures. Now, as a consequence of using the software, there were a number of outcomes and benefits. They were able to reduce the floor area for the assembly lines by around 10%, whilst increasing production capacity by around 10%. They were able to accommodate a mixed flow production of more than 100 SKUs. Line balancing was improved by 20%. They reduced headcount by 45% without sacrificing output and product quality and the reject ratio reduced from 1,200 defects per million to 120 DPMs. The manufacturing period also was reduced from 15 to 12 weeks. And overall, the total cost savings that were realized for this individual project was £879,000. So to summarize, whether you are setting out or you've reached the pinnacles of full industrial automation Simulation software can support and help you in many different ways, as testified by the many users across the world. Thank you for your attention. Um, we'd like to be able to say that you can find us in our virtual booth in the exhibition area and interact with us through the chat box, or you can visit us on our website www.visualcomponents.com. Please follow us on uh, social media to hear more about us and also our upcoming events. But if you'd like also to contact me directly, Steve Morris, please do so on my email address, as you can see on the screen, or my mobile number, or perhaps come and visit me in the virtual booth in the exhibition area. Thank you for watching, and I hope it has been of some benefit to you.